Funny. Uh, hey. Oh, hello, Matt. You was appearing in your sleep. Uh, was I? Oh, I was, but I was dreaming. What uh, about? Uh, uh, being alive. Hey, I've just seen a, a something. Oh, what sort of a something? I don't know. It's like a kind of blurry sort of nothing yeah. sort of shape. Yeah. Well, it didn't have much shape, really. Yeah. And there was chains clanking and a groany noise. Yeah. Fanny! Oh, Romeo, Romeo, where for hot, oh, Romeo? Oh? Uh -huh. you not never heard of Romeo? A racehorse? No, a lover. Oh. He died for love, he did. Then he must have been daft. Hey, I've With just... griping grief, the heart doth wound. I've just seen her. doleful dots, the mind oppressed. Will you listen? Then music with her silver wand. Bodkin! With speedy help, doth lend a redress. Very, very popular play, Romeo and Juliet. Not very funny, but then I didn't have very much in it. But it was nevertheless... Matt? Matt? A flappier knave. Thousands of them, yelling like demons and banging their spears against their shields. Think it's exciting? It was thrilling. What shall we do, said young Chadley Watson. Stand! And fight, I said. Wasn't that a little foolhardy? Oh, no, he wasn't there. Who wasn't there? That little foolhardy. Got rid of him, sent him on leave, confounded idiot. Who there was I? Uh, facing thousands of fuzzy wuzzies. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Stand and fight, I said. That's what we'll do. We'll show these savages how Englishmen can die. And did you? What? Oh, yes. Absolute massacre. Only about ten of us got away. Mind you. I think the ammunition had something to do with it. Oh, why? Wrong size, wouldn't fit in the rifles. Oh, whose fault was that? I think we're in for some more rain. Sir George! I've just seen a something in the Great Hall. Something? Something. Aye, like a groaning and clankling. I tried to tell Bodkin and Fanny about it, but they wouldn't listen. Clankling? clankling. Aye, like chains rattling or something, and moans. What sort of moans? Uh, oh. Very nasty. Yeah. Did it look like um, anything? Just a foggy sort of mist. Foggy? Mist. Oh, it couldn't be, could it? What? Old Gory. Oh. Gory? Yes, it sounds as if it might be. It does a bit. But he can't be due again yet, surely, yeah, can he? He could be. But it seems only yesterday that he was here last. Who's old Gory? What? Oh, he was here before Motley was built. Well, legend has it. Yes, yes. Seems there was some sort of skirmish on this spot during the Wars of the Roses, and old Gory was, uh, in it. He doesn't appear very often. Thank goodness. About once every five years. Which is more than often enough. Why? Oh, because he's so boring and miserable. He never stops moaning. Well, I know I enjoy a good moan now and then, but at least I don't ever do it. No. No, well, better warn the others, I suppose. Oh, no, not him again. Are you sure? I tried to tell you, but you wouldn't stop Romeo. Romeo? Oh. He's even more boring than... Uh, and he's so visible. Yeah. Visible? I could hardly see him. Huh. 
You wait till he really appears. Mm. He's one of them conspicuous spectres. Mm. Everybody can see him. Mm. Not only us. You mean, uh, right. live people? I've always seen him when I was alive. Every five years, regular as clockwork. My governess even did a drawing of him. You never get rid of him. He hangs about for days. Well, he was here first, wasn't he? Yeah, I think so. Mm. Oh, I don't know. I can't help feeling a bit sorry for him. <laughs> well, you'd be miserable if you knew you weren't welcome. Why don't we try and be a bit more friendly? Cheer him up a bit. Oh, I'd rather cheer up a funeral. You could tell him some of your jokes. Oh. We could try and cheer him up a bit, I suppose. Now, the old me cop, he was born miserable, died miserable and still miserable. And nothing we can do will change that. Hulk! A rattling of chain! I wish you could do that. He's here. Fish hooks. There's someone unlocking the front door. Who? <laughs> Anybody in? <laughs> Come on, Margaret, we haven't got all day. Careful with that, Margaret. Don't just bang it down any old how. It's very heavy, Jack. No, it isn't. All right, then. It wasn't hang about. Let's get the rest of it. Has he bought, Motley? I hope not. What's all that stuff? Heaven alone knows. They don't look the sort that can see us. Oh, you can't tell. It's best to be on the safe side. Mm. Margaret! I'm sorry, Jack. It's just what I've been looking for. It's been empty for over 20 years, the estate agent said. 20 years? Ah. We go a long way to find a better place on this. They are buying it. Yeah, seems a shame, really. It's if it's trespassing. You know your trouble, Margaret, too much imagination. Now, this is going to be a scientifically controlled experiment. Where are the thermometers? Thermometers? Don't say you forgot them, Margaret. Oh, no, no, Jack. I know I've packed them. Well, where are they, then? You can't lose 48 thermometers? 48 <laughs> thermometers. Perhaps he's starting a hospital. I got him. Why do you need so many, Jack? Why do I need Let's so many? Let me ask that question. Well, it's a big place, isn't it? Big place. Right? <laughs> right. That should be enough in here. think? Yes, dear. Very nice. I wish you'd show a little more interest. Uh, wh where's the cotton? Margaret, bring me the cotton. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to get one. I, I, can, I, can feel it in, I can feel it in my bones. Yes, dear. Yeah. <sighs> What's the lunatic doing? Do you think he's harmless? <laughs> Talcum powder. No lavender. It doesn't matter what it smells like. <coughs> Bless you. That should rule out any hanky-panky. Hanky-panky? What if you want to go upstairs? Well, we go that way. Oh. Oh, you're so enthusiastic, aren't you, eh? Whatever comes down these stairs and doesn't move anything will be a ghost. And I shall photograph it, however long it takes. The moment the temperature drops, I shall know. I shall know they're here. You, you need a lot of patience, Margaret. Yes, dear. No, your trouble, Margaret. You've no imagination. It's a very unusual hobby, is ghost hunting. I hope this film's sensitive enough. Right. 
I'm going to have a, a really thorough look round. Are you coming? I'll just finish this row. The ghost hunter. I've never heard anything so disgraceful in my life. Makes me feel like some sort of rare beetle. Here he wants a few pictures. Yeah, yeah what's the arm in there? Great Gladstone, man. Don't you understand what will happen if he does manage to photograph us? He'd go away, wouldn't he? Go away? Of course he won't go away. He'll want more and more pictures. Portraits, family groups, informal studies. Make no mistake. If this lout gets his way, in no time at all, the place will be crawling with ghost hunters. Crawling with all them. All right, all right. You've made, you made your point. No pictures. But how do we get rid of him? Well, it ain't going to be easy. If we do do something, it'll make them want to stay. And if we don't, he'll stay anyhow. Yes. Bit of a problem there. He's coming. I found a corridor like an icebox. It just has to be haunted, Margaret. C come on, woman. Come and see. Come on, this way. Yes. You two go and watch me. He may be preparing a trap for us. Look, right. Listen. Oh, look. It's him. It's so gory. That's all we need. If that dreadful man sees him. He's bound to see him. Everyone sees old gory. Don't look so pleased to see me, will you? They say that there's a sudden dramatic drop in temperature when ghosts are about, and that places where they appear are, are, are unusually cold. Anyhow, you've got, you've got to admit that this this corridor is unusually cold, isn't it, Margaret? So is our bedroom, Jack. You've never seen a ghost in it. Oh, you're so encouraging, aren't you, eh? Now this place has the reputation for being haunted. That's why I chose it. A lot of places have. A lot of places are. Maybe. Ah, and I'm going to prove that Motley is. I just don't want you being disappointed, that's all. Disappointed? Why should I be disappointed? Well, like you were over that cinema organ. Why did you have to bring that up? I'd, I'd have finished it if they sent me all the parts. I just wish you'd get rid of the parts they did send you. I got nowhere to keep my vacuum cleaner. Oh, it's typical of you, Margaret, isn't it? Here I am, about to make a real psychic breakthrough, and all you can think of is where to put you a vacuum cleaner. It's enough to discourage the most optimistic researcher. It really is. Oh, 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 oh. It, it happened. Suddenly, it happened. What did? It dropped. Didn't you feel it? No. Well, well, they're here. Suddenly, the lamp it went again. Oh, look, now I dropped a stitch. Don't oh. thing. I'm sure now. This is the place. I'll get my pictures if I have to come here every day. Every day? Keep but that family will not be worth your buckles if you do that again. Well, well. And how have you been keeping? I've been well. And it's all well. Oh, well, sorry to hear that, isn't we, Bodkin? Oh, very. Yeah, what's up? I get these terrible headaches. No? Oh. What sort of headaches? Hey! He said. He said, what sort of headaches? Splitting headaches. Poor old chap. And that ain't all. No, I didn't think it would be. The world in me leg keeps playing up. Sometimes I think I'll never walk again. You'd like that, wouldn't you? No, oh, come now, don't be ridiculous. Ridiculous, yes. I was waiting for that. I expected it. That's what you think of me, isn't it? I'm just a ridiculous old man. What's no use anymore? A bird and a nuisance. Oh, yes. He's all again. Uh, we didn't expect you at all, actually. Hey. What's happened? I said we didn't expect you quite so soon, as a matter of fact. Didn't you? Oh. No, we, uh, <coughs> took us a bit by surprise, actually. Can't you stop this excessive perambulation? I'm on sentry go. You should know about that by now, you were general. Oh, you see, yes, no understanding, no consideration, no sympathy. I could strangle him. How? Why don't you sit down, old chap? I don't want to sit down. 
Yeah, come on. Sit down. Take the weight off your head. There's a good chap. I don't want no favours off any of you. It ain't going to be treated like an invalid. No, of course you don't. We merely want you to... F yes, I, I know what you say about me when I ain't here, so don't you think I don't? We're always very happy to see you, ain't we? Always. Delighted. Now, you won't get around me with a lot of can, so it's no good you trying. I've suffered nothing but indifference and neglect at your hands. Oh, the mortification I've endured. Oh, the wretched depths of my misery. Oh, Gloriana. How do we get rid of him? Well, being nice to him ain't the way, Sir George. Only make him worse. The more we try, the gloomier he's going to get. Now, what do you think we should do? Tell him what we really think of him. Insult him into going. He likes being insulted. It's an excuse for being miserable. But we have to think of something to make him go. If that girl Santa sees him. Yes, he will. Everybody does. And then... Uh... A photograph of old Gory. They'll run special trains. Oh. Uh, what are you whispering about? You mind your own business, you miserable old decapitation. You sit there looking like you won yourself at a fair. You expect us to put up with your moaning and groaning? Oh, yes, go on, insult me. Uh, you like doing that, don't you? Go on, pour scorn on my affliction. I like to pour boiling oil on it. You hear that? Did you hear what he said? You'd better keep quiet, Morgan. The order's bad, and so is that simpering shade there. Yes, you'd like to get rid of me, wouldn't you? Oh, yes, you would, yes. I'm only an old burden, aren't I? A million old soldier would gave up his head for king and country. Officials. Nothing but harsh words and mockery every time I appear. And not once have I complained. If I want to haunt this place, there's nothing any of you can do to stop me. He's right. Nothing. Look, uh, <clears throat> uh Gory, old boy, there's something you should know. Oh, I've been keeping it from me, have you? Look, you old windbag, we can't get a word in edgeways. I ain't talking to you. Good. Yep, there's <clears throat> someone in the house. A person. Oh, so that's it, is it? Yes, he's he's looking for ghosts. Well, he might be lucky, mightn't he? But uh, he's a ghost hunter. Yes, with, with a, a machine for making pictures. Yeah, pictures of us. And that's why we want you to go. And I know why. Because my picture wouldn't be good enough, would it? No. Yes. I mean, we don't want him to take pictures of any of us. Don't you understand? I understand, all right. Because I'm more interesting. But a picture would bring hundreds of people to Martley. Now, you don't want that, do you? I don't care. I only appear here every five years. But damn it, man, what about the rest of us? You'll have to get used to it. You rusty old bucket. You see what you've done? You... He's got us now. He's coming. He's convinced we're here. Oz, but what about him? He won't go. They'll see him. Everybody does. They know that. Well, get him. All right. Hey. Stop, thieves. Stop. Villains. Stop, thieves. Stop. Where's the rest Villains. of you? Villains. Violets. Bring back my body! Shut up, they'll hear you! Put me down! Where is it? Where's what? The other bit! I thought you got it. We thought you had it. I'll take this. You bring that. And don't drop it. No, Jack. Right, let's go. Yes, Jack. Where is it? I don't know. What? What? It ain't there. Not there. It must be. I tell you, it ain't. Keep calm, everyone. Don't lose your heads. I want my body back. Shut up. It's with the others, most like. Do you know where they went? I'm lost. Lost. No, you ain't. Well, party ain't. Look on the bright side. It'll be easier to find the big bit. How did you get separated? They bar me away. Oh, I where to? I don't know. Thieves! Body snatchers! Shut up! Pilots! I'm warning you. I'll Rose. put you in the cellar. Pilots! If you don't stop that noise, you may never see your body again. You see? He couldn't move on his own, could he? Well, I don't see how. The screaming scars of Hollow Manor can. That's true. Uh, yes, he floats about all over the place. Screaming, of course. Of course, yeah. Matt! Maybe Matt got it. Oh, that's it. He followed me from a corridor. 
If you're looking for old Gory's head, I put it in the cellars. Splendid! Oh. Save him right if we locked him in there. Oh, you better go and get it. Oh, oh where's the body? In there. I hope the lad remembers where he's put it. Of course you will. He's a bright boy, isn't Matt? Mm. There he is. He's gone quiet, hasn't he? Uh, perhaps he's nodded off. Mm. Very quiet. Are you sure he's still in there? Have a look. Hello, Gory. You're going to be sensible from now on? Where's the rest of me? You better go. Right. Now yeah. oh, then, Misery, yeah. what's it worth? Jiminy, it's gone. It's gone. Don't be funny, Fanny. It's the truth. How ghastly. Hello, me old custard. I've got some rather bad news for you. You keep away from me. I want my body back. Yes, of course you do. It's understandable. You're very attached to it. Uh, it uh, we're very attached to it. It belongs to me. Oh, no. <laughs> you can't have it. What do you mean? Oh, well, we're frightfully sorry, but... Uh, but... You ain't lost it. Oh, no, Miss Lane. Miss Lane is the word. You fiends, you evil villains, you... Mm -hmm. What a lot of fuss to make over the body. I just had a dreadful thought. Not too dreadful. Well, supposing the body meets the ghost hunters. What a dreadful thought. I mustn't. We've got to find it. Yes. Well, it can't have gone far on its own, can it? Well, how do I know? You go look upstairs. Right. You two go back along the corridors. Right. I'll go in the bell tower and the rest of the east wing. I'll go with you. No! Oh. Oh. You stop and guard that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, mm. Frightfully sorry about this. I know how you must feel. Oh, excuse me. I know how you must feel. It must be very trying. The thing is, the sea, you see, it uh, wandered off before we could stop it. I shall hold you all responsible if you lose it. It's a disaster. He's no good on his own. I'll give it three seconds this time, Margaret. Jack, I... What? I know I don't know much about photography, but... Hmm? Well, should that little black thing be over the lens? Well, why didn't you tell me? I've taken 20 pictures. And you leave immediately? I know when I'm not wanted. I'm going. I'm going now. Wait. What is it? Well, does he have to carry it? What, what do you mean? What? Why doesn't he wear it? Uh, Where? Wear it? On his shoulders. Come. Oh, what a marvellous idea. Yeah, I never thought of that. Try it. Oh, it's oh. looking better already. That's it. A capital. Rather. Oh, well. How does it feel, eh? Well, it feels different. It's a marked improvement. Yes. Is it? Oh, absolutely. Yes, it's definitely you. Feels a bit wobbly. Well, you can practice. You've got five years. Yes. Yes. Five years, so I have. Do you really think it looks better? Capital. Oh, absolutely. Better. You aren't poking fun at me, are you? Not at all. No, of course not. <laughs> mm, lovely. Oh, that's it. Mm. Oh, oh, that's smart. Lovely. Well, I'll see you in five years' time. Do you have to go? Uh, can you... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Well thought out, Matt. <laughs> yeah, got a yes, good head on his shoulders, that boy. You'd have been miserable carrying your head in your hands all the time, wouldn't you? Quite. We coming back tomorrow? Oh, Margaret. I haven't the patience. Besides, I'm beginning to wonder if it, if it isn't all imagination. Tell you something. I'll build you that rock on Sunday. That's a narrow escape. Yeah. <sighs> oh. You'll be all right now. 
I think he's given up ghost hunting. Here, thank you, madam. Good night, everyone.